You two gentlemen are fantastic. Uh, you guys are dynamic. You guys have uh, really pushed the narrative in your career and your trajectory into how we got here. Mm -hmm. Teo, you really represent the content side of media entertainment. Um, and Guy, you represent the technology side of media entertainment as well as a business background too as well. I want like to frame the conversation as we get started here in a room of disruptors and a home of disruption and activation and stirring the pots and stirring the conversation with the heartbeat of technology. So we witness what SAP is doing to disrupt the manufacturing process, what they're doing to disrupt the warehousing uh, activities that are going on from, from manufacturing all the way to user end uh, perspective. I think about, we all have touch points with the music business. So I think about the music business and I think about how they did not embrace technology. Mm -hmm how they didn't see the power of technology, nor the speed of technology, or the force of what technology could be. As a result, they were late to adapt. Mm -hmm. And as a late adaption, dis business models became disrupted. Cheo, I just want to know from your perspective, because you've worked across mediums, from mm -hmm. the big screen, to the little screen, to the even tinier screen. What I mean by that, film, TV, and now digital. But also before that as a journalist as well. And, yeah, okay. which is also going through a disruption too, as well, through digital. Do you feel that Hollywood or the, the content of storytelling is embracing technology and do you feel like by them embracing it that they are more adapt to have better business re revenues as a result of it? 